you wake up and you are, let's say that you're an, somebody that's overweight and you wake up and you are at your, your best weight of the day. And let me just, does this describe you at all? And you wake up, best weight of the day, you want to stay at that weight, you feel good about yourself. So you decide that you are going to not eat. Not only are you not going to eat, you might drink a little water, but you don't want to retain water too much, so you don't drink too much water. And then you exercise because you feel really good about yourself and you have a little bit of water, you still don't eat, you exercise, you, you know, you, you want to be in that fasting state. And then you decide that you're going to have a little micro bite of something like that and you balloon up, you start retaining water and you don't really think you should be eating throughout the day because your entire life you've kind of been almost ashamed to eat or shamed if you do eat and you decide that you're not going to eat but you're hungry but then that hunger goes away and it's replaced by like this weird euphoria which is cortisol and you can't really you really don't even think about eating so you decide that you're not going to eat at all and you get to the end of your day and you're like shit I haven't eaten all day long I've exercised why do I why do I look like I've blown up a little bit and you can see that I still ha obviously have weight to lose and this is something that I go through so then you're like well I've got to make up these calories somehow so you try to force your force feed yourself one meal a day and all of a sudden you can't eat enough and you have like you've got this cortisol and you've got all this euphoria and everything and you're like writing stuff down that you really want to accomplish and you are like oh shit I'm gonna get this done tomorrow I'm gonna get this done tomorrow but you can't sleep really because you haven't eaten enough throughout the day and your cortisol is really high and because your cortisol is really high you uh, you know you have this fight or flight going on that is taxing your adrenals taxing all of your organs and you can't sleep and then all of a sudden you fall asleep at two o'clock and you wake up later than you would really like to and when you wake up you are so sore from the exercise that you did yesterday that you can't even believe it because you haven't recovered because you haven't eaten enough but you're feeling like you're at a better weight you know you don't have all that extra uh, you know fluid retention you don't have all that extra everything going around and you know people have told you that you need to really not eat it, eat that much you got to over exercise and you've got to do this in order to be a comfortable weight and the only way to achieve a good body is to starve yourself and do exercise and starve yourself and do exercise exercise twice a day two hours a day whatever and go for walks and exercise as much as you possibly can and you find yourself doing this and you're like why can't I lose any weight and you, 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 your ambitions that you had at night are completely gone when you wake up and it, you take the entire day to get back up to that place because the cortisol that's supposed to be really high when you wake up isn't high it's high when you go to bed and then you can't sleep and you ask yourself why why am I not accomplishing what I'd like to in life because when I wake up you have no ambition but you don't have enough energy at night when you do have that ambition to actually get anything done and so this is a cycle that you go through and you know this this manifests its, uh, its way in, in different different styles of bodies right so some some bodies who do this cycle they'll lose a ton of weight they'll almost be on the borderline of anorexia and then there's the other of us who are on this spectrum which I think is majority of us who don't <laughs> don't lose a lot of weight not like I can't actually grab a lot of fat on me so when I see like myself in video here and I got like this gut and everything I'm like this has to all be under here which is even worse so it's around my organs and you've got like this mental disorder almost not almost you've pretty much given yourself a mental disorder you can't eat you can't accomplish anything that you want to in life 
even the things that you do that you do want to accomplish are an absolute drag. You can't believe that you even got it done. And then you try to exercise on top of it and you try to eat as little as humanly possible. And then you hear about this Wagovi and Azempic and all these other drugs out there. And so you take that, which makes you starve yourself even more. And yeah, of course you lose weight. Everybody's going to lose weight. If you are so super overweight, at some point starvation is going to work for you, but at some point it's not. And that is where I am at. And I think if you've made it this far in this video, you probably are at it too. And I keep making videos about this and I keep not doing anything about it. I just keep doing nothing about it because I, I'm on a manual focus lens. So if I'm not always in focus, you know, whatever. Um, I, Like, I mean, even look at this channel. I haven't expanded this channel. I, I, I haven't expanded anything really, and it's really frustrating me at this point. And then I'm like this mental disorder, and I can't keep pushing people away. Sorry if I just blew your ears out with that. I forgot that the microphone's right there. And then I push people away because I have like these crazy ass mental things that happen. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine once in a while. And of course, this is what the body is supposed to do. Where's my line? I got a line right here. That's where you got to stand, bitch. I, you know, this is fine once in a while. The body is actually built to do this, right? The body is built to like, oh man, if we don't have food, like we'll retain for a little while. And, you know, then once food happens, we'll, we'll get back to normal. And it's the same thing that happens to bears. Like it's, it's fall now which I absolutely despise I can't I, I cannot stand like it's fall already but this is when bears and other animals that hibernate they're going to start eating as much as they can so they can make it through the winter but when they get out of winter they're just as psychotic as anybody else right and they've got diabetes technically and so it takes them like I, I forget how long it is like almost a month to get out of that and back to a normal state. And I think that's the most likely time to get attacked by a bear is after a, a, out of hibernation mode because they're nuts. And so, you know, like I, I cannot keep losing great relationships over my psych psychoticness that I am causing on my own self by doing what I just said at the beginning of this video. So if you have made it this far, let me know down in the comment section, do you go through this? So my goal, and I know I keep talking about this, but it's hard for me, right? I have that in the back of my mind. You shouldn't eat too much. You're fat. Don't eat too much. You're on this side of the spectrum, not the other side where, you know, they might, they might not, uh, you know, know what you're talking about. These people over here, when they do this sort of thing, for whatever reason, they just keep losing weight, losing weight, losing weight, and they just keep getting skinnier. But those of us on this side of the spectrum are not going to do that. I don't know if that's a blood type thing. I don't know if that is a genetic thing. I don't know what causes it. I don't really even know if it matters what causes it because there's a people over on this side, right? And then there's a people over on this side, which I think a lot of us are on. And if you keep doing this, you're going to keep getting the same result. So over this next, what is today? The 27th of September somehow. This is insane to me, like this month. But over this next month, I'm going to go buy, buy like just fruit juices and shit like that. I want to get down as many high carb, low fats as I possibly can. Because there's one thing that every single one of those experiments, whether it's the Minnesota, the Carnegie, uh, there's like four of them. There was like four starvation things. One of, the, one of the things that it proved is every, almost every mental disorder, I can't say every because then somebody will come in, almost every single disorder, disease, whatever, comes from a lack of carb or like a lack of food. And carbohydrates is what, you know, make, you know, the fire burn in your body, right? You know, like everything burns in the wake of carbohydrates is what I think the Minnesota starvation, I think that term came from that. You can't process proteins. You can't process anything without the flame that comes from carbohydrates. And that's another thing that you have happen when you eat too many, too much in, in one sitting, you get really hot. And if you're really hot, you can't sleep. So if you're eating this huge meal at the end of the day, 
and wondering why you can't sleep. Well, the body likes to be like a, a one or I think it's one degree or two degrees less when it sleeps than during its waking day, working day. So you're really hot, your cortisol is really high, you can't sleep, and so you fall asleep at two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. And for those of you unlucky enough, or maybe lucky enough, I guess, to go to a normal job, I don't have to do that, thankfully. You have to live with that now. So you are now ambitionless, going to a job, sucking down um, you know, stimulants, caffeine, trying to make it through the day, thinking about how you're going to over-exercise yourself, eat as little as you possibly can, make it through the day. And this is, this is what happens, right? This is what happens. Now, I do have a lot of muscle on me. And I kind of want to do this because I want to see what happens if I flex on here. And I want to see, everybody says that when you have carbohydrates and you do this, that you lose muscle. So let's, let's, uh, let's see what my arms look like at the end of this 30-day thing. And the one thing I'm not going to do during this 30 days is care about plastics. I'm not going to care about, like, if it's organic or not. Like, I, I drove an hour out of my way into farmer's land to, to film this, right? But, like, what is in farmer's land? Glyphosate. So I'm probably breathing in glyphosates right now because I'm in farmland. I'm surrounded. Like, if I had a drone, I could show you. I'm surrounded by farms right now which is why I'm at a park and there's nobody here because this is, this is basically what these people's yards look like. Right? So I'm, I'm out here sucking, inhaling in glyphosates more than likely because it's corn mostly around here and it's feed corn mostly around here. So they spray the shit with glyphosate. So I'm breathing it in. So you can't get away from this stuff. It's not possible at all. And as far as exercise, oh, so I'm interrupting myself. But I can't keep down this path. And like, I haven't really, I feel like I don't even help anybody with this channel because I have a major issue with this. Like a total eating disorder. And it has ruined so many of my damn relationships. It's, it's crazy. Not only do I have, maybe even all, the, all these other like things like autism and OCD, maybe it'll go away. I don't know when I do this. I am just going to eat. I'm already fat. Everybody can see that, right? I really wish... I could, but I, you know, how am I six, almost six foot tall and it's like doing this? Anyways, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I used to be six foot tall. That, that, even that bothers me. Like before the surgery, I was over six foot tall and I had the surgery. Everything did whatever it did. And like everything, like I, I, like, I got so many things that like, like irritate the hell out of me. Like how were, how was I like over six and now... I'm like, I don't even know what, what height I am. You should see my spine in a, a, a damn x-ray. And another thing, like if I lose weight, will it start kind of like re-emerging? I don't know what happened. They don't know what happened. <sighs> so this, is, this video is kind of all over the place. So what I'm gonna be doing in the next 30 days, and I'm going to film it as much as I can because I want this to be out there. Now, I'm already fat, which is what I was saying when I was backing up and then went into my little tantrum. <laughs> um, is I'm not gonna worry about much, but I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna stay away from food uh, coloring and I'm gonna stay away from, that's pretty much it. That's gonna be my only rule. Like I'm Irish, we don't really have rules, right? So that's gonna be my rule. Like I do try to stay away from food coloring and that's, that's gonna be it. I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm just going to get down juices. I'm going to get down as much just sugar, basically, as I can. Now, I have done a pound of sugar a day in the past. I still can't do it. I still cannot stomach sugar. And that's probably because I've got, like, some issues going on down here that we want to clear up. Now, I haven't been eating a lot of fat, hardly at all. But I want to pull back and make it even more simple than it already is and actually just get down food. Like, for example, I had 20 ounces of apple cider and two cups of rice for breakfast today. And I had great energy. And I can already tell it's fading. I can tell that my adrenals, I can tell that everything is just struggling. I'm even struggling to make this video. It's partly because I can't stand the fall. It's partly because it's stupid humid. 
and I'm like irritated that cold weather is coming and I really just, I really don't feel like doing real, I, I, like there's other places that I want to move. I don't want to talk about that in this video, but yes, this is what I'm going to be doing. I just cannot keep down this path. So if you've made it this far, chances are you go through this. Watch what happens to me or doesn't happen to me. Maybe, maybe this will be even worse. Maybe I'll be 900 pounds at the end of this 30 days. Who knows? Um, but I'm already overweight. So the, the best that I could do was, is lose weight. But I'm really not going to worry about that. I'd rather be the size that I am right now. I don't know how many calories I'm going to eat. I'm not going to track it. Everybody's going to be in the comment section. Well, you should be blah, 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 blah. I, you know, I don't care. Like, it's, it's, always the, it's, it's always the people that don't have channels that are claiming that they do all this stuff. I, I, I need, and like, I'm, I'm watching my dad. He's gaining weight now, even though, you know, he's so active. But he loves his fried food. I need to be an example here. And I, I do, I struggle with this because you have that mentality when you're overweight, like, oh shit, I don't want people to see me eating because, you know, then they're gonna have a comment. It's crazy to me to watch this. I, it, like, it's crazy to me that some people who, who live like I live are skinny as balls. Like, they're like, they're, they're like the size of this, this twig right here, right? If I could pick it up, it's too heavy for me. This twig right here, here's the people somehow over here who live like I do, somehow these people are this weight. And somehow I look like this. And a lot of us look like this and don't look like this, right? So anyway, this video is mostly for people who look like this. Let's see what happens. Again, I'm just going to get fruit juices. I don't really feel like running the juicer like crazy. It is, it is apple season. I do like making apple juice and carrot juice, so we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna worry about getting in the sugar. Cause I feel like I am a liar, like on this channel. Like, yes, I've lost 175 pounds, but why is this a thing still? Doesn't make any sense. But it's even worse, like some of the mental issues that I go through. And I've completely alienated myself because I'm getting tired of seeing the looks on people's faces and I'm seeing the look on my face. I'm like, how the hell does this keep happening? And then I start reading about, like a guy went to uh, cannibalism on 1,540 calories a day. And I actually calculated, uh, ate it out what I, what I eat some days. And I'm like, it's like 14 or 1,500 calories because the stuff fills your stomach but for somebody my size who used to be over six foot and 200 and some odd pounds, I, I don't know what I am now, maybe 5'11". Um, I'm not the shortest and I'm certainly not the smallest person. I can't keep living off this 14 or 1500 calories. And people have seen it in my videos and I can't even make excuses for it. Like I have gone crazy. I really have. Like it's been a crazy couple of years. But I'm usually not like this crazy. Like I, I just, I keep just alienating myself. So anyways, if this video resonated with you, please follow this journey. Like I said, I don't, I don't care what the scale says. I care about like my mental health because that is just, it, it, it has just gone crazy. It has just gone crazy. I feel like fear and... Living in loathing in Las Vegas some, day, some days. I mean, I wake up and it takes me hours just to even realize that I'm human. And it could just be me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just something I deal with. You can see me trying to lean over here. My skeleton got so messed up from this. I had an ankle replacement. And all of a sudden, my body's like, it's driving me crazy. This is how tall I am on this leg. And this is how tall... I am when my legs are the normal height. Drives me nuts. Drives me crazy. Anyways, that's the video. I drove an hour out of my way to make it just because I like the scenery. It's pretty cool looking. Look at this. Look at this scenery. Anyway, uh, 
I just don't like that it's going to be getting colder out. Even though I look like I'm built for the cold weather, I do not like the cold weather. Sorry if this video didn't make any sense, if it was just a bunch of rambling words, but I want to also see that too, like what happens with that over this next 30 days. Because the way I've been living the last, this year really, since April, actually most of this year, this is unsustainable. And I really hope this is, I hope this is an example for people because I'm so tired of seeing people talking about how much you got to starve yourself. This is, it's nuts when people do this to you. Like it's abuse. It's like, like the people that I know are the skinniest just, they just eat. And you're like, well, I don't know what they do. Uh, so I, does it fucking matter? Like everybody wants you to be eating as little as humanly possible. And I know that at some point, probably calories do matter at some point. But if your adrenals are fatigued, if, you, if your thyroid is shot, if your endocrine system isn't working, I, I, where do you think you're going to get? That's like having a car that has no engine, or maybe it has an engine, but it doesn't have like a transmission and it doesn't have suspension so you can't really go anywhere. And it's like missing the seats in the car. Like, yeah, still technically it's a car, but it's not going anywhere. And this is what we do to ourselves. Like we just destroy, like the more I watch the Strong Sisters, and I'm gonna do a, like a reaction to the, the, la to the latest video. The more I'm like, damn, this is crazy. This is crazy what I go through. And what all of us go through when we don't eat enough. Your heart health goes down. Your intestines start actually eating themselves and you don't have as much surface area to actually digest just the food that you eat. Uh, your, all the systems that I just mentioned, they are completely screwed because you're over here eating nothing but stimulants and stuff like that to get through your day and drinking water and water, you know, just try, try to fill up your stomach like they did in the Minnesota Starvation Project. And then you're pissing like crazy. You're pissing out all your electrolytes. And for what? You're go it's going to backfire for most of us. Again, like I said, there's people over on this side that somehow, no matter how far deep into this they get, they just keep getting skinnier. But then there's others of us who are on this spectrum over here so far away I can't even reach anymore that when we do this, this is the result. Now, not everybody's got like arms and I, like I do have a lot of muscle on me. I did lift for like over 20 years. But yeah, anyway, I think that's it. Any comments, questions down below? And I'm getting so, so tired of people trying to push with Govi and Ozempic or whatever other thing in the comment section, you're just screwing yourself even further. You're, you're like that Oprah, the propagandist, the reptilian overlord that she is, she's, uh, she's pushing this. If she's pushing something, stay away from it. Anything that Oprah is pushing, this is a hidden message, stay away from it. They can't be trusted. That's it. That's the video. Man, I had so much energy. But it's so fleeting because all my systems are just... Like, when you wake up and you are so sore and you're so unrecovered and all the ambition that you had the night before is gone, like, something ain't right. You should wake up, like, ready for the day. And I've had that in the past, like, where my cortisol is actually high in the morning like it's supposed to be, not high throughout the, getting higher throughout the day. Anyway. That's the video. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.